Hello everyone, I'm here with a new process video today. As you can see, I've got a 6x12 single pager happening. And these are all photos from Ghent in Belgium. These are within St. Bavos Cathedral. And if you're not familiar with St. Bavos, that is the home of the famous altarpiece Adoration of the Lamb. Um, famous because it's a beautiful work of art, but also because it's been stolen multiple times. Most um, history buffs may know uh, it was taken by the Nazis in World War II. Thank goodness it was recovered and taken back to the church where it belongs. And I would say even if you're not a person of faith, I am not, still go see it if you're in Ghent. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. It That's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see it, especially when all the panels are open which I have in my album. I'm not sure if I'm going to record a video of that when I do it or not, but I do have photos of it. So if you don't see it as a process, you'll see it on the flip through. So in looking at this, you can tell I only have one pocket that I have to fill. However, I don't want all of these to fully fill their pocket. So I think for this one, because there is some dead space up here at the ceiling, I've got lots of ceiling shots here. So I don't really need that. I think I am going to trim that down and put it on a white or an off white background just to mix things up. And that will also give me some nice open space where I can stamp or put an embellishment or, or do something with it. But I just think having this many photos that are so busy is so intricate, so much detail. I think it's too much. So I think that having this matted on a background will be helpful. So the first thing I am going to do is to trim this down and I just need to figure out the size. So height wise for this, I think I'm going to go down to three and a half. No, you know what? Three and a quarter. I've got it sitting here at three and a quarter. I think that's, that's a good size. So then I'm basically losing all of that top of the ceiling, which is totally fine. And then just to have a nice little border on the sides of this, so you'll be able to see that background. It's a little bit more showing over here than on the left. So I think I'm just going to trim off a quarter quarter no a quarter is too much let's let's go an eighth of an inch there we go if I decide that's not enough and I don't like it I can always trim off more but I'd rather start with this and take off more than take off too much and then be stuck so I just realized I should probably mention something I had a little mishap with my other trimmer my desk was so full of stuff when I was working on layouts and projects I had everything covered and I went to go move this out of the way because I didn't need to cut anything and I didn't realize how far off it was the edge of the desk and I dropped it I bumped it it went off and at first everything looked fine and I thought oh okay great nothing bad happened nope there are these little pegs that hold in the arm here and one of them broke off like completely and it was a fairly clean break so at first I was thinking like oh I can just super glue it and it'll be fine no that did not work so I had to get a trimmer so now I have a lovely nice new trimmer to use and I think this is maybe the first time I've used it since I took it out of the packaging but my other one lasted I think like four or five years so like the 25 bucks I paid for it was money well spent so I've cut this down Got my background there I have not adhered it yet because I want to figure out if I'm going to stamp or do a phrase or embellishment or something here if I stamp I want to do that first before I glue this down because if I screw it up I want to be able to just toss this and get a new one so I'm not going to do that right now adhere it that is and I need to figure out what I'm going to stamp I also need to figure out what's going up here and I don't think that I need to journal there because I have several layouts that are going to be from St. Bavos and I do have things I want to say but I know for sure one of the journaling cards on one of the other pages will have some things so I'm open to just having a phrase here or building a card with some embellishments or something like that but for right now I just I don't know what's going to be there. So in looking at this photo I was trying to find some other colors other than like 
the brown tones and the black that's in here because I don't need to add any more of that really. I wanted a pop of color and I was looking at what people are wearing and I kind of like this. This woman is wearing sort of a pink or coral jacket and I think I might go with that. That would really help to lighten this up because there's a lot of dark heavy colors happening here and I know I do have some things that are in that shade. So I went into my stash of just regular background cards and I found this one and I love it. It's close to the color that she's wearing there and the pattern just so happens to have plus signs which also happen to look like crosses. So I felt like that was kind of a cool coincidence. It's a nice background. And I think I'm going to switch these. I originally had this as the open pocket but because of that color being here I want these away from each other. So I think I'm going to move that there. But then it gives me the problem of I've got a white bottom and a white bottom. So I may actually end up either switching this here or even here because neither of these at least yet have this color in it. So it's not a distraction to have it, you know, possibly down here. So I'm just going to mess with the configuration a little bit until I'm happy with what I have. All right, so I have mixed up the configuration. I changed some things in the lower portion and I do like that better. Now these are actually going to be opposite each other on a diagonal line, which works better, I think, overall. It does leave me with a slight problem of like, how do I do a visual triangle if I want one? Not sure that I even do, but I did find something in this sticker book that I have. And you can kind of see that that coral color is in here. I like this label and it would add a very nice pop of color. So I've got that color here, here. It would make sense maybe that I go here. I wouldn't want the bottom because of all of this happening at these bottoms. I think maybe a little bit at the top there. I don't want to lose too much because it's got that nice arch happening, but it is very dark on the ceiling and like I said before I do have plenty of other ceiling shots so if I cover up a little bit right here I don't think it's tragic. I have attached the label where I want it and I stopped just short of cutting off this center piece here because I don't want to do that. I want to keep that so it's fully visible. This also leaves me with a nice chunk of this sticker label that I can use for something else, which is great. So I will actually just put this right back in the book where I got it and I'll save it for another layout. I decided to pull out my pink and coral type stuff for all my ephemera to just see like what's, what's in there that I might be able to make work here. And I didn't find a whole lot honestly, but I did find this little arrow here that says love this. So I thought, you know what, it's unobtrusive, very small up here at the top, but it does give that nice visual triangle pop of color. And the weird thing is, is like, this coat is what inspired it, but you barely notice it now, I think. But it does help tie it all together. So I think it's okay to have both of those on the same photo. So I am going to use that. So in order to bring this all together, I feel like I do have to bring in some black up here. I don't want to add too much though. So I have this label and I think what I'm going to do is either put it up here or maybe even overlap it here, stamp something in there, maybe layer or cluster something around it. I'm not sure. I think it actually would be okay by itself too. And then I still have to figure out what I'm going to stamp down here. So I think I'm just going to grab out one of my holders that I have of my travel stamps and just hope that there's something in the first one I pick that I can use in both spots. I have figured out what I'm going to stamp on this bottom one. I'm going to use this stamp set here. This is from Christine Heron, otherwise known as Everyday Explorers Co. And it's all about museums technically, but I'm going to use it for this because I love this one that says, this took my breath away. And it's true, this was my number one thing that I wanted to visit when I was in Belgium and so what a dream come true. So I'm going to stamp that right there and it will actually fit perfectly if I just center it right there. Okay the stamping is done and thankfully it came out 
perfectly and I absolutely love it. So that's really all I have to do with that one, which is great. Now I have to figure out what I'm doing here and then I'll put a staple in here and then I don't know what else to do there. If I should do a little like black heart or something, I could stamp on it. It's a slick surface, but I do have stays on ink. So I could do it on a slick surface. It would be fine. I just don't know what I want to do. For this card, I decided to just pull out a very simple stamp that I had. And I had this set on the end of my desk because I used it for something else. And I noticed it had a stamp that said spectacular. So I just chose to do that. It fit perfectly and I stamped it. All right, I have finished off this layout and I'm slightly disappointed because I thought I had these in both silver and gold, but I don't. Apparently I only have them in silver. And there is some gold showing in here, but I decided, you know what? White and gray, close to silver, so I'm just going to do it. So I did add one right here to kind of keep with that cross theme. I even noticed that there's that little thing, that little symbol next to the stamp that I did. So you know what? I think that's perfect. And I don't think this needs anything else. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. So here's another one finished for Belgium. Thanks for watching.